Hello, HCFX. This is Echo Deluxe and Amp Surgeons behind the camera. We're here to show you the HCFX sample rate reducer that Jim designed. Uh, so far, we've got it in this little prototype box, um, but I'll let Jim do all the explaining about the pedal and I'll just show you some cool sounds that you can do with it. Let's get This is the uh, sample rate reducer on the highest sample rate. <laughs> the sample rate a little bit. And you just hear it start getting a little less resolution, it goes down even more. start to get indistinguishable. Sounds like a pissed off computer. And then... Like, around here chords start getting really pooey, so you... sounding and then you get down here and it's all sorts of sample reduced and crazy and then down here it's all like really low Dirt. Then the lowest sample rate. You get that really thick, creamy Santana lead tone. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the same hell of Santana use Abraxas. It's the Abraxas tone. Yeah, so it goes from really tinny sand or really tinny uh, computer to the Abraxas woman tone. <laughs> Now, uh, there's still a little bit of noise, and uh, we're going to work on some filtering to get that noise out of there. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much the sample rate reducer. It's pretty cool sounding, and uh, yeah, it's pretty rock and roll. Everyone thank Jim, Amp Surgeon, Bravo. And now Jim's going to come tell you all about it. He would. Are the chords from Black Magic Blue? <laughs> um, I think one of the funnest things to do with this is to try and find a frequency that more or less matches um, the key that you're going to be using, because that's where you get all the cool dailies. like harmonic tuning your guitar. Now the reason we think this thing really could use a foot controller after being gently prodded on the form about it, is I can't play one.
You look just like a foot. It's like a phaser. Surgeon, how does it work? It works. I mean, how does it function? Or whatever, electronically. Well, you gotta go into function junction. Um, what? I don't know. Alright, let's, uh, you know how to work the zoom on that thing? Yeah. We'll do it! Alright, we're gonna unplug everything here. We get a look at the guts. Okay, you see it? Yeah. I can't. Right, let's do it this way. Okay, let's get a little light on the subject here. And uh, you got the normal gut stuff here. Um, uh, your standard blue bypass switch, uh, TRS jack in the input, TS jack in the output. The one and only pot, as per design specifications. If anybody saw the pictures in the electronics thread, this will probably look familiar to you because this is exactly the way that it's laid out on there. Um, there are only two chips. One is the timer. This is the one that's making all the squealy noise. We're going to make it stop doing that. And this is the dual op amp. Uh, it is in between the dual op amp that this FET is connected and the signal goes through the FET. And the timer switches the FET on and off. When it switches it on, makes a capacitor charge up, this one right here. When it switches it off, then the capacitor holds that charge and it stays at whatever the level was until the next pulse comes through from the timer. So it's, uh, in electronic terms, they call that a sample and hold circuit. Uh, but what we're using it for here is as a resampler. It takes samples at regular intervals, holds on to them until the next clock pulse, and then takes another sample holds on to the next clock pulse. You can kind of think of it as being like the first stage in, a, in an analog delay with none of the other stages to pass the, the charge to. It just stays in the one stage. Uh, underneath, just some solder and a few more wires. But uh, that's basically the circuit. There are, uh, I believe at last count, uh, something like eight capacitors and seven resistors and the two ICs. So it should be reasonably inexpensive to build and uh, I think a worthwhile project for the first Harmony Central Effects Forum official pedal. The sample rate reducer. Woo. So there it is. Uh, this is going to um, we're thinking probably like uh, some extra filter caps at this point would be enough to um, filter the power line and get rid of the squeal and if that works out successfully then uh, this will be boxed up and it will go on tour. Uh, we'll pick uh, some people um, from the forum who will sign up and we'll send this pedal out to them and they'll be able to give it a shot and see what they think about it and make suggestions and we'll discuss it on the forum and eventually before the world comes to an end we'll actually build these and be shipping them out to members of the forum. So, 